Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, a big thanks to all of you for watching and liking my previous video Coffee Confusion so much. For a newbie, it means a lot. Today we'll talk about the 10 big whys related to the different ways our body reacts to various things we all experience but don't really know why. So let's get started with why part 1. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get to know when my next video is out. Number 1. Why do we have eyebrows? They are said to be the Swiss army knife of our body because of their multiple uses. They protect the eyes and channel the sweat, rain and moisture away from the eyeballs to keep the vision clear. Very useful for the non-verbal communications such as the people who speak sign language. It's tough to recognize people without their eyebrows, so very good option for the undercovers. Number 2. Why do we have nails? For all this? Oh my gosh, no. They're actually to prevent the delicate tissues, nerves and blood vessels under the surface of the fingertips and toes. Very useful for grip, opening knots and picking up stuff. Their hard surface protects the toes inside the shoes. I just heard a big thanks coming from the footballers. I'm sure you must have heard about rubbing your nails for healthy hair. And the good news is, it's true! The hair follicles in the scalp are directly connected to the nails, so rubbing them can simulate the blood flow to eventually make your hair healthier. It's a kind of yoga called the Balayam. Number 3. Why do we blink? Remember the childhood staring contest we used to have with our friends? And after a while we used to give up? How long can you hold your stare without a blink? My highest is 43 seconds. Let me know yours in the comment section. We can have a contest here as well. Come on, let me know. We blink to wipe and renew the tear film which keeps our eyeballs from drying out and gives us a better vision. It also keeps the eyes safe from bright light and dust particles. And again, it also helps us to express better. So keep blinking and keep winking. Number 4. Why do we have goosebumps? Mm, we all have experienced goosebumps for different reasons like happiness, excitement, emotion, scary or cold. Human body reacts differently in different situations. When some sudden or unexpected thing happens or we feel cold, we get goosebumps. The tiny muscles located at the base of each hair follicle contracts causing the hair to stand on the ends. When we are cold, it actually helps us to warm ourselves a little. Some people may feel heavy breathing along with the goosebumps. Number 5. Why can't we tickle ourselves? Tickling. Actually, it's a big sign that something or someone is touching us and thus alerts us and saves us from the potential insect or bug bite. It happens because our body is covered with small hairs which help us to feel the danger that might be too small to see. The surprise or shock element plays a very important role here and so we can't tickle ourselves as we would already know and expect the tickle. Can you tickle yourself? Try and let me know. If you are enjoying, please subscribe. Thank you. You can continue watching. Number 6. Why don't we have hair on the palms and the feet? Just imagine. Oh no. How'd we do stuff with hair on the palms? Just impossible. Most mammals except for rabbits and polar bears lack hair follicles in their palms and sole of the feet. In fact, we have a lot more sweat glands there so we feel slippery and sweaty. It actually helps us to grip better and avoid parasites. Just imagine having hair on your palms in the time of coronavirus. Could be an absolute disaster. The hair on the palms and the feet actually help the polar bear to insulate themselves while walking on the snow. Number 7. Why do we have eyelashes? It's an amazing asset to have. Protects the eyes from dust, air, impurities or any other foreign particles or insects. Nowadays, taken as a beauty feature, many accessories and cosmetic products are available to enhance the eyelashes. So, enjoy your lashes. 
Number 8. Why do we have white spots on fingernails? Do you know? The white spots on nails, also called the milk spots, can be caused by some nutritional deficiencies and sometimes you get hurt and don't even remember. Fingernail moon, called the lunula, Latin for little moon, is a part of matrix, the pocket under the nails from where the nails grow. Absence of this little moon can suggest vitamin deficiencies. Mostly it's visible on the thumb. Number 9. Why do we have moles and birthmarks? Moles at some particular places are considered to be making you lucky. The birthmarks on the other hand may bother you. So don't worry, you can use your creativity and get a tattoo done. Disorder of pigment producing cell is called birthmarks and moles. This simply means when the blood vessels don't form correctly, there is a birthmark. Which are in general the overgrowth of the cells that give color to the skin. Moles occur when pigment producing cell in the skin grow in a cluster instead of being spread throughout the skin. New moles generally appear when hormone level changes. One of the reasons is the exposure to the sun. So take good care by using a sunscreen with SPF around 50. And finally, the biggest question of all time, why do we have a sweet tooth? It's an idiom used for the people who like sweets. If you are one of those who find themselves fighting a sugar addiction and it's almost impossible to resist and tend to face anxiety otherwise, then this one's for you. This craving has a very strong connection to our ancestors around 30,000 years ago. The only type of sweets which they could have was ripe fruits and not even that was available anywhere anytime. So when a person came across such a tree in a long time, they would grab as many fruits as they could before it was found by others. And as it happened rarely, the consumption was heavy. Humans have developed that gene in the DNA ever since. And we still crave or go nuts when it comes to sweets. There's another theory that says the culprit in fact is our liver for having a sweet tooth as it produces a certain hormone which regulates the sugar cravings if you have the specific variant of the gene that makes this hormone. Sometimes it's under eating, lack of sleep, anxiety, depression or if someone gets stuck with the cheat day mentality. So chill, don't worry much, enjoy your sweets and work out the next day and you'll be absolutely alright. If you like the video, please subscribe because why part 2 is coming up soon.